everyone and welcome back to my Virtus Last Rewards Let's Play. The last time we disarmed all the bombs and um, rather lamely solved the uh, cure room. And um, now we want to open this. The same save we've seen in the other rooms. That means you probably open it the same way too. We just need to plug in the password, right? Yeah. Why do we need to discuss this, honestly? Like, this is literally the last escape room. Like, we should know how this works by now. Yeah, why don't you give it a shot? Okay, uh... Save, so... Um... God damn it. Don't, don't let me put in the false one, I think. No, green was the... No. Blue was the... Bug, which was the fucking final password. I think it doesn't matter, right? I mean, I've saved beforehand anyway. Okay, moon, sun, star. Moon, sun, star. Do 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 do. Completed. Okay, that was the file. Good job. You opened it. <clears throat> well done. <laughs> Redacted. Found all the secrets in Virtus Last Reward. That's nice. Then let's read them. Last secrets. There we go. Minkowski space. Lanthomorph, Tenmyojin, Alice, Simurgeon Clover, AB Project, Mystery of Fire, and Deactivation Experts. Okay, a way of describing reality that adds a fourth dimension of time to the three dimensions of space. It was described by German mathematician Hermann Minkowski and therefore bears his name. It's also the name of a ski resort for a miniature. For miniature cows. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> the scientific name for the order uh, to which rabbits belong in zero. Uh, the third actual name. Wait. Lagomorph. <laughs> I love that they use this picture for this. When they split up at the red, blue, and green chromatic doors, Hermione told Alice that there was something he had to tell her. That some. That something was, of course his identity and that he already knew all about Alice and Ice-9 and not because he heard about it from Clover. Uh, Tell me your identity spoiler? After the second round of the AB game, after going through the purple and green doors, Clover, as a solo, was heard to say the following to Tenmyoji, her opponent. What the heck did you mean with all that? It's not fair if you're telling the truth, then I... What had Tenmyoji said to her? The same thing he meant to say to Alice, of course. He told her who he was. That simple fact shook Clovis' resolve and made her vote ally. Probably hadn't been his original intention to betray her, but after thinking about Quark's safety, he'd probably felt he had no choice than to betray. Crazy man. It can... It can... What? Well, a, a... Oh, A can stand for after, B for before, but that can also stand for anima and body. Ever since that happened in this facility... Everything that happened in this facility was part of the AB project. Yeah, I read that as A, you know, like, A, the, the word, I guess. So, who was Phi? There are a few clues scattered throughout the story, but nothing conclusive. Perhaps the truth will be revealed at the Nevada test site. Here's a little something more about the bomb deactivation passwords. Those passwords? They aren't just gibberish. There's something hidden in each one. I can g uh, only give you one hint. Plus one. Good luck. There's a lot more to the story, but I think we'll stop the secret archives here. Thank you for playing and we hope you enjoyed the game. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So... Is that all? I mean, don't... Wait. Wait. God damn it, I don't have that open. Um... What is... Let me look at that. Okay, that's actually really neat. So, if you have the activation code, and the plus one is you just go one letter further in the, in the alphabet. If you do that, the meanings are with the number zero code, my brother, the number one, crash keys, number two, free the soul, like, like free the soul, and third one is myrmidons. That's actually pretty cool. 
That do be cool, but now we want to get out. And we want to see uh, the finale. Star, star, moon. Star, star, moon. Do -do -do -do. Oh, yes! Yes, it's open! Is this more accelerator? Okay then. Let's see what's in here. First off, two star key cards. We can use these to play the AB game as many times as we want. Hold on. Those keys are important, but. Look at this. A consummate collection about all the files. Exilavia! The Radical Six Cure! Hmm. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. I, I don't know what to say. Quarkus. Quark is going to be okay. Is he crying? Alright, let's get out of here. We need to get this stuff to Quark and Alice. Yeah, you're right. This key should do the trick. Key. Let's get moving. Oh yeah, let's get out of this weird ass creepy room. Oh uh, yeah. Throw us over here. Oh. No, I'm meant to do this. Lock. The door's lock. It says lock. You guys ready? All set here. Go for it. Alright. Three, two, one, zero. Two, three. Stop there. Jeez. <laughs> one more time. Three, two, one, zero. Escape is and doctor of escapology. Escape from 16 rooms. Escape everything on hard difficulty. Yeah, I definitely did that on huh. my own. Feeling very proud of that one. It opened. We should get back to the Flore warehouse then. Hey, wait. Did you guys hear something? What? You didn't hear it? it came from over here. It sounds like something turning on. See, I told you. The screen wasn't on before. You're right. Guess it was set to turn on when we opened the door. It looks like an authentication screen. I think we need to put in an ID and a password. Uh, yeah, but what? Da, 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 da. Is it now, Jumpy Doll? There was when I noticed the illu illustration of the illusion. Lion is eating the sun. Lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the... Memento Mori. Remember the death. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Yeah, it's been everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, of course. This was the real ninth lion. But there was the case. Memento Mori. Remember death. Memento Mori. Remember death. Memento Mori. Remember. God damn it. Wait, where's my where's my uh where's my oh god I, I even wrote this down. Oh god, but this Wait, this was the second gate? That was the first gate. Even have have my, my piece of paper. Yeah. Um, wait. Is that yeah no wait that's Yeah, we never found out the ID. So, like that, right, that was, um, Luna's, uh, ID number. Okay, what if we go with, with the Kurashiki? 
and the jumpy dog. Jumpy doll. Hell yeah! Let's go! Sigma! Look! Hi. You're... Akane. <laughs> of course. Her name is Akane Kurashiki. They've been looking for her for a very long time. He walked towards her. Slowly, carefully, almost as if he was afraid of scaring her away, he reached out. She's a hologram. And Mjordi squeezed his eyes shut. <sighs> Akane. He closed his hand around empty air and let it fall to his side. There was a moment of sad silence and then she began to speak. Face so creepy looking, man. What, what happened to you in like, I don't know, sixty years or whatever? You probably have a great many questions. What day is it? Where are we? Who is Zero? And what does he have to do with Akane Kurashiki? But I imagine there is one question that rises above all the others. Why were we brought here? The answer to that is simple. That has happened here as part of our plan. All of this was required for the success of the AB project. I assume you heard the name by now, at least. In any event, you were all needed in order to execute our plan. The nonary game was necessary for the same reason. Da, 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 da. Your question now, I imagine, is just what is this AB project? The answer to that is also simple. Allow me to explain. We created the AB project for one purpose. To transport the consciousnesses of two people into the past. Those two people are you, Sigma, and you, Phi. What do you mean, the past? The moment the words were out of my mouth, I realized no one there could answer the question. Not Phi, not Tenyoji, and certainly not a pre-recorded hologram. Have you figured out what this room is? I assume you saw the Q on the door. It stands for quantum. Oh, I thought it was, uh, when 25, uh, move on. That makes this the quantum room. It took me a moment to realize she changed subjects without, without even pausing. There was nothing we could do, of course, but I still felt a twinge of frustration. Take a look at the rear of the room. Do you see that large enclosure? That houses our quantum computer. The systems that control this entire facility run on that machine. That includes the construct you refer to as Zero Junior, as well as the golems. Okay, when did you report this? Because I'm pretty sure we only call, like, started calling him Zero Junior after we started the game, and she was already dead by then, so... What? All of them do their thinking in that box. Isn't that strange, though? It seems contrary to how we perceive the world. The body. The thing that you see and interact with is somewhere else. But the mind and all its thoughts are in this box. Perhaps it isn't so strange, though. Perhaps humans are the same, with our minds and thoughts existing separate from our bodies. Da, 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 da. Our core is in our head, of course. We all have individual brains. 
think individual thoughts and act according to individual wills. That makes communication difficult, though. So, we're forced to rely on inefficient mediums, like language, photographs, nonverbal cues, etc., to transmit information. Each one of us is an individual, and we have no direct connection to anyone else. But, is that really true? In the dimensions we are most familiar with, yes, it is. If we look at things from another higher dimension, however, we may all be connected after all, like the branches of a tree or a rhizome. Imagine a horizontal cross-section of the root system of a large tree. All you can see are the spots where the roots intersect the plane of your cross-section. In the two dimensions you see, the roots all appear to be individual things with no connection to one another. But this isn't the case. If you expand your view and look at the root system in three dimensions, Instead of only two, you see the truth. All the roots join together at the trunk. In two dimensions, they appear to be separate. But if you look at the roots from a third higher dimension, you see things that might appear to be separate from one another in three dimensions could be connected to one another if you look at them in four dimensions. Doesn't that at least seem like it could be a possibility? Da, 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 da. I believe that is how human consciousness actually works. Well, I'm not the only one, I suppose. Zero and I share that belief. Morphogenetic field theory. <laughs> Temuji mumbled something that sounded like nonsense. I opened my mouth, but I opened my mouth to ask him what it meant. But Akane was already talking again. Now, when I talk about a fourth dimension, I'm referring to the fourth dimension used in Minkowski space-time. Let's start with a single dimension, where all that exists is a point. Connect points to one another, and you have a line. In one dimension, the only surface you can create is that, a line. But move to two dimensions and create more lines, and you can create shapes. These are two-dimensional surfaces. Move up to three dimensions, and you can connect these shapes to one another and form three-dimensional objects. Now you have a three-dimensional surface which encompasses a volume of space. Connect three-dimensional objects to one another, and you've formed a four-dimensional object, which encompasses a volume of both space and time. It is on that fourth-dimensional axis that our minds are connected. If that was true, then what would prevent anyone from sending their consciousness backward or forward in time? That theory is the foundation of the A-B project. The A represents after, and the B represents before. It probably sounds silly to you. A ridiculous story made up by a mad old but look at what's happened to you. You've seen many different worlds and timelines, haven't you, Sigma? And what about you, Phi? I know you have too. Am I wrong? Tenmyoji should know what I'm talking about as well. I believe you experienced something very similar nearly half a century ago. Yeah. You sent your consciousness to the past to help save a little girl's life. It was a long time ago, but perhaps you still remember. Why are you speaking as if you don't know who he is or as if he doesn't know who you are? What? Yeah, of course I do. How can I forget? That little girl was you, Akane. 
Suddenly it felt like Hoi and I were outsiders, trespassing on something we had no right to see. Tenmyoto's face was toned with, emo uh, with, yeah, toned with emotion as he looked into Akane's eyes. It seemed almost like she was looking back at him. Now, unfortunately, my time is up. The final stage of the project will begin very soon. I need to go prepare. The next time we meet, I can tell you the rest of the story. Wow, great. So come and find me. I'll be waiting. I mean, she had to have known that she was the one who was gonna die, right? Like, that had to have been the plan all along, so... That, now she's just taunting us. One last thing. The cat in the box. Is it alive? Or is it dead? Sigma. Vi. You will decide its fate. Goodbye. I don't want wait. to kill the kitty. Akane, wait! <laughs> oh, Tenmyoji. I can almost see you. You don't need to worry. Everything is going to be okay. I will see you again one day. I promise. But I'm going to have to ask you to wait just a little longer. Wait. Akane! And then she was gone. Temuji collapsed to his knees, his back hunched and shaking. I saw tears land on, on the white knuckled fists he pressed against his thighs. I kept quiet. What was there to say? Why and I looked at one another and nodded silently. With a shaking hand, Temuji pulled a photograph out of his pocket. It was a picture of a girl. After all that we've been through, a small was enough to break your heart. Well, here we are. We made our way back, uh, way to the warehouse on floor A, and met up with the others. It took only a few minutes to decide to head to the infirmary. As soon as we arrived, we began to treat Alice and Quark of for Radical 6. I gave Luna the Excelivir that I had found in the Q room. She quickly prepared it and... And then she dropped the bottle. Oops! <laughs> Just kidding. Injected Alice and Quark. Thank goodness! It will take some time for them to recover completely, but they should be fine. Good. Indeed. Thank you, Luna. And thanks for finding the medicine, you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't sweat it. No need to thank us. Temuri said nothing, just walked over to Quark's unconscious body. He took the small boy's hand in his own and held it tight. I could see tears at the corners of his eyes as he turned away from, from us. Suddenly I remembered. Dio, where had you gone? It didn't take me long to find him. <laughs> wow. He was sprawled unconscious on the floor beneath the sink. <laughs> Deserved. Handcuffs? Oh, we found those in the crew quarters. Before you returned, we went to check on the bomb in room two, and we found them there. Of course, the bomb was indeed turned off. But thank you again for dealing with them. You are, quite literally, Lifesavers, you have my eternal gratitude. I coughed awkwardly and looked pointedly around the room. I glanced over at Fi to see, uh, to see she was doing the same thing. Da -da 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 -da. After that, we headed back to the floor A warehouse to play the AB game. Specifically, me, Fi, K, and Luna. Clover and Tenmyoji decided to remain in the infirmary, just in case something happened with Alice, Quark, or Dio. Luna would represent a Clover's team. 
With Quark and Dio sleeping, K would represent their team by default. Which left me, Fire and Tamiyoji. Wait, can I? Huh, god damn it. I don't know if I only have one choice and the game ends, or if I can betray and see what happens. You should vote. No, I'll let you handle it. I chose betray in the last round. You probably don't trust me right now. What? It doesn't matter now. Excuse me. I apologize for interrupting, but I think you should be the one to vote in the next round, Fi. Why? You already have 9 BP. There's no reason for you to choose betray now. You see? Hey, you're acting like I might actually try and betray her. Not necessarily. Um, what does it matter what he's suggesting? We're almost there. We just have to play the A-B game three more times. Then we can all get nine points. But that means each representative has to choose ally all three times. Okay, I'll vote. You sure you're all right with this, Sigma? Yeah, I trust you. I handed her the star key. Shall we open the doors? An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Amidex game polling closes. Oh, right. We have to wait for the deadline. Oh. Well, we could vote earlier. But then each voter would be stuck inside the AB room for 45 minutes. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to the infirmary then. I agree. Please, lead the way. Luna and Kay set off towards the yellow door. I was about to follow when... Hold on. I just remembered something. What? The AB room on the left. In one of the other histories, she... Oh, yeah. You're right. Connie's body was in there. What does this mean? Why didn't she find her body... Why didn't we find her body this time? Oh. Maybe because she wasn't murdered. But how? When did history change? Do you remember what Akane said? The cat in the box. Oh. Is it alive? Or is it dead? Are you the cat? You're the kitty? The Schrödinger's cat thing. Exactly. I wonder what she meant about us deciding its fate. Perhaps she was saying her own fate wasn't decided yet. Huh? The history where she's alive and the history where she's murdered are both real right now. What? No, that's impossible. We've already opened the box. We opened the door to this AB room and up, and there was no body. No, we haven't opened the box. We haven't found a body. But we haven't found her alive yet, either. In other words, we haven't actually observed her. The hologram was a recording from before this game started. The next time we meet, mm. I can tell you the rest of the story. So come and find me. I'll be waiting. Where was Akane now? Where was she waiting for us? Or what if she wasn't anywhere now? What if she was waiting for us in another timeline? Or what if she was waiting for us in the past? Was that even possible? If she was, what would that mean? To be... continue? What?
A new destination has been added to the flowchart? Excuse me? Also, quite fittingly, we are back at save number one. <laughs> uh, oh. We are going to the past. Yes. Ugh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Where the hell am I? It looks like an elevator, but... No. This is one of the AB rooms. Ah! Who the hell are you? And what the hell is an AB room? <sighs> Damn. I guess you did lose your memory after all. No, I didn't. Memory? Da -da 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 -da. Memory? You wanna play memory? I remember. You're Fi. She grinned. When is this? Check your bracelet. It's a red hair. BP is three. Mine's the same. Does this mean this is the beginning of the game? We've gone back to when we first woke up in the AB room? No, not quite. I think we woke up a little earlier this time. How do you know? Push the buttons on the side of your bracelet. Two hours. Fifteen minutes. We didn't wake up this long before the primary doors opened last time. I think we're about an hour early. Mm. Wait a minute. If you're right... Yeah. Akane might still be alive. We got back before Dio killed her. I think. Then... Right. We're here for one reason. To stop her from getting killed. Exactly. Let's move. We need to get out of here fast. Don't need to tell me twice. Let's go. Do I have to solve the puzzles again? God damn it. Do I look like I remember? Okay, so we had... We don't need to look there. This is our past, remember? That means we're just repeating history. You see what I'm getting at? The password for the safe should be the same one we got earlier. Exactly, now hurry up and open it. Oh. You know what? That makes sense, actually. Uh. Oh, there it is. You need to remember the password for the safe. We figured it out last time. Once the password has been found, we'll have a change. Give me the password change and time will alter it. Did that? Did it say that at the beginning too? Uh, elevator. Uh, star sun sun. I mean, we don't. Uh, whoops. Bro. You did it? And we already have the file, so we don't need to enter that again. There, it's open. Get away. Hurry up and grab the cracker. Yeah. Uh, damn, I meant key. How the hell? Just shut up and do it. Yay. Uh, here. Alright, let's just put this key in here. For God's sake, just do it already. No need to yell. Alright, good. Looks like that worked. Ready, Fi? What do you think? I know, I know. I don't need to ask every time, right? Then why the hell are you asking? Hurry up and... Right, right. I'm going, I'm going. Ten. Nine. Eight. One. Done. Hey! You pushed the button! Bite me, you are talking- it's taking too long. 
We're on a schedule here. Uh, you found it. Fine, I climbed up through the hatch and out onto the top of the AB room. It took us only a moment to spot them. Akane! Behind her was Dio, who was moving quickly and quietly, a knife glinting in his right hand. Shit! There was no time to yell to her. I scrambled down from the top of the AB room. I wasn't following me. When I looked back, she was still standing on the roof. Pai! What the hell are you doing? Get down here and... Before I could finish, she moved. She ran across the room, uh, the roof, launched herself into the air. Whoa. Nice. Perfect kick. What the? He's fine. Just unconscious. I bent down and held my fingers in front of his mouth. He was still breathing. I don't think he saw me. He probably has no idea what happened to him. Guy went down like a sack of potatoes. What a loser. He had it coming. Yeah. I heard footsteps come to a stop right in front of us. I looked up. So you came. <laughs> Damn it. The way she just spawned in with that... Creepy looking face, I was just... I was startled, okay? I've been waiting for you. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. You're here to hear the rest, right? Wait. Just... Just wait a minute. What the hell is your deal? How can you be so calm? If we hadn't shown up just now, you'd... You'd... Have been stabbed in the heart by this young man and died. Yes. Although, that reminds me, I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate you saving me. That what? Hold on. How do you know about being stabbed by Dio? Are you an Esper too? Yes. Indeed I am. I am able to jump through time, just like you. Then what the hell were you thinking? If you knew he was going to stab you, why were you going to let him do it? Because I had to. You what? Think back. Why are you here? If I hadn't been killed by Dio, no one else would have been murdered. Consequently, your own abilities would never have manifested. I did explain, didn't I? The purpose of the AB project was to send the two of you to the past. Or your minds, at least. In order for that to happen, some death was necessary. When a human brain is faced with danger, its processing speed increases. Information is processed more quickly and time almost seems to slow. A few seconds can feel like an eternity. Unfortunately, that in itself isn't enough to send oneself through time. The amplitude of the consciousness is simply too small. In order to increase the amplitude, we need to slow down the brain before the increase happens. Oh, that's why we have Radical 6? It's a little like a slingshot. You pull back on the rubber band and then let go. The potential energy you stored in the band is released and converted into kinetic energy. That's what fires the bullet out of the slingshot. Now, while a slingshot can only fire in one direction, your mind isn't similarly limited. When the bullet of your consciousness is fired from the slingshot of your brain, it travels past the three-dimensional world and into the four-dimensional one. From that perspective, time is no longer fixed. 
In other words, you can travel to the future, the past, whenever you like. Your consciousness has been released from the three-dimensional cage. In order for that to happen, I had to infect you with Radical Six. Okay, but that still means that all the other timelines exist, right? Like also, like, all, including the timeline where we all like killed ourselves or the timeline where everyone just hated me because I had 9 VP and betrayed everyone and, and, and then I woke up without my hand for some reason. I only barely remember that one, but yeah, those still exist, right? Whoa, what? We're infected with Radical Six? Yes. Don't you remember, Sigma? Luna should have told you about it in another timeline. Are... are you sure? Infecting all of these people with such a horrible disease? Every single one of you has been infected. Okay, but if only we can, like, only find high control through time, then why infect the others? Well, apart from Luna, of course. Da -da -da. Unfortunately, it was necessary. We needed to slow your minds in order to store up your potential energy. Then we provided a dire situation that would accelerate your processing speed. The result is what you are now experiencing. Your consciousness now occupies four-dimensional space-time. Okay, but did we ask for this? Like, um... Why did you do that? Da -da 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 -da. Even that, however, wasn't enough. You had the ability to travel, but your memories could easily be lost during the trip. If the project was to succeed, you had to be able to retain everything you learned in each reality. That was the reason you were forced to jump so many times. With each jump, your ability to remember improved. Eventually, you would be able to retain everything. That is why we made you play the A-B game. That was why you had to select different chromatic doors. By forcing specific choices, we could cause you to make more jumps. Get it. I think I finally understand. Well, okay, there are a lot of things I don't understand, but all of what you've just told me makes sense. You did all of this so fine I could jump through four dimensional space with our memories intact. Right? Yes. But why did you need us to do that? People have died for this. I mean, let's count how many different ways people died. Murder, antimatter explosion, suicide. I've died. So has Fi. So have you. So why would you do all this? What does it matter that Fi and I jump through time? Haven't I told you? Death was unavoidable. You are all destined to die. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. I already know all that. What I'm asking you is why? What is so goddamn important that is worth all this? Ah. I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Bruh. What? Just when is eventually? In a future not very far from now. Bullshit! That's not good enough! Why can't you tell us now? Instead of answering, Akani knelt down next to Dio and picked his knife up off the floor. I'm going to keep this with me. Don't change the subject. But it's almost time. What are you talking about? We've got plenty of time. No. 
In a few moments, you'll return to the original timeline. What? This is the way it has to be. Don't fight it. Lagomorph. Yes. Lagomorph? You call him Zero Junior. His official designation is Lagomorph. Lagomorph, this is an order. Unlock my bracelet. Compliance! Now, everything is in place. I have put the bracelet onto Dio. All we have to do is place his body in the 5th AB room, the second one from the right. That's the one Quark is in, right? Correct. I will move him. I will also put your bodies back into the 3rd AB room. Once that's done, I will reset its puzzle to an unsolved state. <laughs> Why do you need to do all that? To recreate the history that you remember. Your consciousness is about to leave your body and return to the future. Your body will be emptied, and your other consciousness will jump back in. If your bodies aren't back in the third AB room by then, it would be... bad. So you're saying some version of us is going to wake up in that room and repeat the same history again? Well, I guess this could actually be our second or third time. You are exactly correct. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to leave this with you. She paused and pulled something out of her pocket. It was a small key attached to a string. I'll tie it onto your ankle so that you won't lose it. All right, Sigma? <laughs> What's it say? Say on there. To fui ego eris. Oh, the gravestone. It's Latin. It means what you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Yes. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with it? It will help you meet someone who's very important. <laughs> what? Go. Return to the future. You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. Now hurry. Wait. I still... So, does this mean we have this key the entire time? It does, right? To be continued. Bruh. A new destination has been added to the floor chart. Um, I guess we're saving on number two. Okay, so... Ah, no, no. Mm. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it, game, please. I just wanted to look back at the top and see where... Fine. So, we had this this key the entire time, right? Like the entire time we were playing. Obviously we didn't see it because it was at our ankle. Oh, wait, why is this? Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess it was technically an escape room, okay. That's all I wanted to see if we actually solved that because it said to be continued. But I guess, uh... Yeah. Uh, so we had this the entire time, and we could have unlocked the gravestone, whatever, in the garden the entire time if we wanted to. Gotcha. I said, wasn't, wasn't it Connie's whole thing that she was, like, good with the morphogenic field? I mean, I guess, to be fair, yeah, they had that whole thing where she was communicating with the homo- uh, or more, 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 more frenetic field from the past to the future. She did do that, but 
are those the same powers? I mean, I guess that I'm, uh, I'm interested to see how this ends and hope you, you guys are too. And you enjoyed this episode because I'm going to make a cut and see you guys in the next one. The maybe finale? Well, probably. I mean, there can't be that much left, right? Bye-bye.